Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me, Umber Rays, and today we're going to be talking about the new raid that is coming to JP. God damn it. I feel like 15 should have been a lock for this one, but who knows, maybe uh, next month is still going to be Final Fantasy 15, just with um, Arden and Noctis on the banner? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're going to be getting right into it, and we're going to be talking about what this raid is, so let's get some music going and talk about it. Because, yeah, um, this is one that I'm a little disappointed on. I was kind of thinking, I was pretty damn certain that we were going to be getting 15, but uh, it seems that Season 2 won't die and just go away. Uh, so, yeah, this is like post-game stuff pretty much at this point. We're going to be going up against the weapon. And to be fair, weapons are cool, so... Yeah, weapons are cool. And that's pretty much okay. Uh, this will run from March 20th to the 31st, so it's a fairly long raid, which is fine, because we can actually get some pretty good accessories and stuff. So first of all, uh, you're going to notice that uh, one of the things we're getting is an accessory 28 magic, 20 spirit, and limit burst fill per turn, as well as percent MP per turn. This is our big thing. Uh, it is okay. Uh, I think it is perfectly fine. I'm wondering how much MP it is, but if you have a summoner or mage or healer that kind of needs a boost in uh, MP recovery, as well as some limit burst fill rate, <laughs> this is okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, also an 88 attack gun, as well as a 20 defense and spirit accessory that's for females only, and a 10% light and dark resistance. Uh, it's all okay. But the big thing is the special raid summon, which thankfully is back. At the cost of 500 raid coins, you can get any of the really cool items up for grabs. It's the same as last month. It's a special raid thing where uh, there is a limited number of everything in the raid pool. So if you just, like the way it worked last month is if you did all of the raid, um, you know, just got the, you know, the max rewards and everything out of the raid, you had a, more than enough to get everything that was in the pool. This time, not entirely sure uh, how it will be, if they're going to have padded it or changed numbers. But the thing to note is that there are trust moogles, five star EX tickets, super TMR tickets, that's new. Uh, UOC tickets as well. So it looks like this is where our UOCs end up. Uh, not entirely sure if there is uh, one or two in there, um, but it does list UOC, so that's a good sign. It does mean that this is probably where the extra UOCs have gone, and it kind of makes sense. Raids are pretty meh for a lot of people, so it gives something to work for towards raids, and if the grind isn't as stupidly difficult as FF1, then cool. Yeah. But um, uh, continuing on, uh, of course, what would a new event be without a new banner? And here it is. Oh, good. More of these. Now, let's get something straight. I don't hate double units. As uh, a matter of fact, uh, I like the Beach Girls units mainly because their kits are pretty cool. They're a mix of multiple classes of characters, and they're pretty damn good about it. Beach, uh, Fina, and Lid is actually still one of the best, if not the best, debuffer in the entire game. You know, except for Elfin. And as for... Well, I guess Lid and Jake is there, too. Somebody wanted this. Can we please stop shipping these two? Eh, that's just my opinion, but... I mean, overall, I don't think that uh, at the to start, anything really looks overly exciting about this banner, but uh, let's go down, because there is a new 4-star, and 4-stars are usually pretty good, and this one I don't think is any exception. This is uh, looks like a light armor, 25 attack, 25 defense. Uh, looks like it's got some elemental resistance, ice as well as, no, just ice resistance, 20% by the looks of it, as well as it looks like a katana mastery, which is a 30% attack up when equipped with the katana. Really good TMR, just solidly good, great for any unit that er, that is using a katana. And I do know not everybody is using katanas, but whatever. And now the character that keeps 
coming back just like a bad penny. I guess it's season two related. Say hello to Lid and Jake, five to seven star unit. Uh, their limit burst is AOE damage, defense, and spirit break, which, you know, a lot of bosses are defense and spirit break immune now, so this is less exciting than that. I am mod up for certain abilities. TMR is a materia, 30% HP up, gun mastery, 40% attack, uh, attack, as well as hammer mastery, 40% attack. So all we need is that unit that has both a hammer and a gun, and that's 80% attack on a TMR. I don't know, good luck with that one. Uh, but there probably is a use for this in some true dual wield unit. I can't think of the exact one off my hands. Uh, I want to say that it could be really good. I mean, it's basically a TMR with, if you can fulfill the, the, um, the, uh, requirements, it's 80% attack and 30% HP, and the HP is unconditional, so that TMR might be better than I'm giving it credit for, but you'll also get TMR Moogles, and if you have a blank Moogle container around, you probably could find a way to use this, then just do that. I don't necessarily know if this unit's going to be that good. We'll have to really wait for the data on this one. Super TMR is a accessory, and let me just scroll down. There it is. 100 MP, 58 attack, 20 defense, allows 3 skills. One that gives a single target ally physical and magical machine killer buff. Uh, one that gives a self limit burst gauge add, and one that is AoE damage plus random all ailments. Okay, I guess it's a wedding band. Anyway, uh, continuing on, looking at these guys' kit, uh, you're looking at, first of all, AoE damage and, uh, oh, sorry. A oh no, I was right. AoE damage and attack magic break. AoE damage, defense, spirit break. Single target, attack, defense, break, as well as fire, ice, imperil. Single target, defense, spirit, break, with thunder, light, imperil. Self attack up, fire, imbue. Uh, self limit, burst gate, add, ice, imbue. Self high tide, buff, and thunder, imbue. Or self spirit up and light, imbue. That is all in their six star kit. They're up to their six star kit, which is fine. Uh, w ability in their 7 star, they have a AoE attack defense magic break, uh, self attack down break removed, max out limit burst gauge allows triple ability, other 7 star ability, self machine stone killer buff, single target damage allows use of another ability on the next turn, which is single target damage, and damage mod up for certain abilities. So basically they seem like buffered, or debuffer damagers. Um, I mean, the the idea of having four elements on them is interesting. The question is, is do they have chaining abilities? Uh, do they have um, imperils? Or, or I guess they do have imperils, but what are the percentages on all of these? Because taking a look at CG Rain, CG Rain kind of came with a massive debuff in his kit, as well as constant debuffs that he could do. So if these aren't impressive debuffs, and I don't think they will be because these are non-limited C non-limited and non-CG units. Honestly, I mean, their kit should be impressive if the other combo units are any indication. Uh, again, see Beach Fid if you really want to know, but... And I mean, you really, really want to know. But, yeah, there isn't really anything at this point that really makes me overly excited about this unit. Uh, just because... Honestly, it really depends on those debuffs. If those debuffs aren't high enough, this unit can go straight to the TMR fodder pile and stay there. I don't think that the DPS will necessarily uh, really make that much of a difference. But if it is Stardust Ray Chaining with the Fire and Thunder element, then maybe this unit might be good enough to be a chain partner for uh, CG Reigns, or as well as a couple of other Stardust Ray Chainers. So whole bunch of question marks on this unit for now. And the other unit is Double Fina's, or as I'm going to call them, Fina Squared, because at this point, we have 62 versions of Fina currently in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, between the Global and the JP version, and we're running out of names. That's the best joke I got for that. Eh. Anyway, uh, looking onwards, uh, what are these two girls? Uh, what do they got? Uh, so... 
Limit Burst is AoE damage, self magic up, triple cast enabled for three turns. TMR. 55 magic accessory with a dual wield. Ooh, shiny. Uh, nice, uh, pretty, really nice accessory. Like, it's like Gilgamesh's glove, except for magic with a high magic stat. But again, uh, you can blank Moogle container this. You don't necessarily need to get this unit. So, something to be considered. Uh, going down the list, uh, let's go on to their Super TMR, which is, again, really nice. 60% magic, light and dark resistance, 50% and true dual wield magic. Uh, true dual wield magic is super nice. It's kind of just the way I think it's more valuable currently for mages than it is, than anything else. So, yeah, I gotta say I really like this, uh, but at the same time, it depends on the percentage. And, I mean, light and dark resistance is valuable, but super TMRs are whale bait, and you shouldn't go for it. Blah. Anyway, continuing on, uh, what else does she have in her kit? Uh, she has single target, earth, light, and dark nukes, AoE, dark damage, damage up on consecutive uses, cure, ailments, and heal. AoE, MP, heal, allows triple cast for the next turn, W cast, and triple cast. So, she unlocks triple cast, but she has triple cast. Gonna have to check that out when the data comes out. Uh, AoE, limit burst gauge, up, self, demon, and spirit, magic killer buff, AoE, light, dark, imperil, plus charm, and seven stars, AoE, refresh, regen, self, re-raise, allows triple cast for a few turns. So, yeah, here's the thing. Again, uh, I feel like both Lid and Jake, as well as Delphina Squared, is really going to have competition against their CG versions, their CG limited versions. And I feel like the the fact that the TMRs are so good on these characters, that these characters' kits are going to be less exciting to make up for it. There is no doubt in my mind that Fina Squared has a really great TMR for mages, and Super TMR-wise has a really great thing for true dual-wield mages. Eh, kind of like you gotta get all the units in the game to get everything. I wonder if that's marketing or not. Sarcasm. Anyway, uh, Lid and Jake, uh, they are damage dealers and debuffers, and the big thing there is how they compete against new CG Rain. CG Rain has some really strong debuffs as well as top tier damage, and a very high power limit burst with multiple elements. Uh, is Lid and Jake really gonna compare? And I don't think so. I, I think that Fina and Dark Fina is going to be a little bit weird. It depends how far their triple cast can extend and exactly how much it, it is used for. Um, really, the big question is, is, is it quarter cast? Quarter cast might be good, but maybe that's too strong. So it really depends on the percentages, how they compare to the CG characters, because otherwise... Meh. Meh. Anyway, so yeah, uh, this is what you can look forward to. We'll also get a bit of an update. Uh, it looks like the update, it also should be noted that this is a six hour maintenance. I don't think we've ever seen that before on the JB side, uh, but it is going from noon on Wednesday till about 6 p.m. So, okay, if you're like me, you're probably not using much all of your stamina currently since the FF1 event. Is finally over but yeah uh, looks like there'll also potentially be an app update might just be really iOS but <coughs> anyway uh, so yeah that's uh, about it I think there's gonna be just a few other changes to do with raid summons I think we can do more raid summons and they're finally implementing which I thought they had implemented like multiple updates ago but uh, they will soon be up implementing the you can still check the UOC pool even if you don't have 10 UOCs which I feel like should have been done sooner but whatever who cares let's move on with our lives so yeah play the raid get the free stuff move on with your life I feel like you can skip these banners if there's anything worth noting I'll check it out in the data and post about it but yeah that is all for this video uh, and I'll see you guys next time for another one till then see you later